We have a huge project starting this week. We're gonna be putting in a road. That red barn has no road to it, which means it's hard to get hay deliveries, especially in the winter time. So this year we decided there needs to be a road to it. Uh, the first stage which we're gonna work on today is laying out a area for a big excavation or a big earthworks project. So I'm gonna show you, this is an area I have a lot of experience with. I used to do this every day at work. I'm gonna show you the tools that we use and how we lay out an area so that when we show up with the machine, everything is marked and ready to go and you can move really quickly, uh, even if you're just working on your own. So let's get cracking. This project is gonna require us uh, to build our road on grade. Uh, so we don't wanna be cutting too much of this dirt out. We don't wanna cut too little. So to establish grade, we're gonna use the laser. Uh, this laser, shoots out a, a 360 degree spinning laser. But when you set up your laser, you wanna set it up in the middle of your working space. A lot of times they have a specific range and if you get too far away, you'll run short on range. So I'm gonna set it up in the middle of my workspace and you wanna set it up higher. If you set it up too low and the laser runs into the, the dirt with elevation, uh, you won't be able to use it. So I'm gonna set it up on the hill here in the middle of where I'm working. So the way this laser unit works is this spin sending out a laser beam and you make sure by leveling it on both axes that it's shooting out a beam that is perfectly level. And that way you can then take your receiver and check the grade on your property. So the first thing I have to do is level this. Once we're level on both axes, axes, axes then we can axi, axi ax on, ax off. You'll see if I turn on my receiver, it beeps and it tells me that we're getting that, that laser. Now we use this stick, which has numbers on it, uh, to find out where our elevations are on the property. So for example, if I wanna find out what my elevation is right here, I put the stick down and then I just move my receiver unit Now I know what the height is here. This laser is just a tool uh, to help you find your elevations. It, it doesn't tell you what elevation you want, so you have to decide that. I know that I want the elevation of our road to be lower than where that barn door is because I wanna be able to plow past the barn door. So I have to go over to the barn door right now and find what the low elevation is, what that number is. And then I have to go over to where our road is over here and find what that elevation is. Then I can connect the dots. And I now have my elevation right in front of the barn door. I know that when I put this stick on the ground right in front of the barn door, I'm getting, I'm receiving that laser signal. So now if I move anywhere within range of that laser, I can figure out whether or not I've removed enough earth. So this is how this works. That low spot there, I can see I have a lot of earth to excavate. So when I start digging, I'll put the stick on the ground. And if the stick doesn't beep, I know I have to go deeper to the point where it gets so low, suddenly it starts beeping. I know now I've reached the elevation I need to reach. So now I'm gonna go mark this on a post or on a tree far away from where I'm working so it isn't affected and we can really quickly reference that point. Now I'm at the road where our current road is. And what I wanna see is what is the elevation here? Because this is where we're starting from and that's where we're ending. And when I find out our starting point and our ending point, then I'll know how much earth across I have to cut. So the way to find this elevation, wow, that's great. Our current road is exactly where we wanna end up over there. So we're gonna make this a pretty flat road. That's really perfect. I didn't know that was the case. So now using this laser target here, uh, as we dig out the earth, we'll dig and then we'll put the laser down. And if it beeps, we'll know that we're right. We'll keep moving forward and we're gonna make this a nice straight flat road from here to that barn door. That's perfect. So now I have my start point and my end point and they're the same. That means I'm gonna go find a tree somewhere far away from us. I'm gonna mark it on the tree bark and then for the rest of the project, every morning I'll come out, I'll set the transit up I'll shoot the mark on the tree and I'll know that that is now our spot and I don't have to keep double checking and I can work from what they call a benchmark. So I'm gonna be working from our benchmark. Let's head over to a tree down here and mark it.
So that is now our benchmark. That elevation right there is the same as in front of the barn door and it's the same as the road. When I come out two weeks from now and start up and I have to unload the transit, take it out of the box, I no longer have to go shoot in front of the barn, shoot the road and make sure it's all the same. All I have to do is set up the transit, shoot that spot, make sure the target's beeping when it hits that spot and we can start working. That's a benchmark. The rest of this project will work off of that benchmark. It's not a super accurate one because I just spray painted it. If you want a real accurate benchmark, you put a nail in it and tap it right in and you put your stick on top of it. The thing is I'm cutting in a road, uh, just the first cut. So the first cut can be within you know five or six inches across the road. Once we lay process on it and get it really smooth, we'll want to work off of a nail, which we'll do in the future. So that's how you start an earthworks project. If you need to know where your elevations are, where you're going, uh, that's how you set up the laser unit with the receiver, then the stick, and uh, establish your elevations. And now as we start digging out for this road, all I'll have to do is put the stick down, and if it doesn't beep, I know we have to dig more out. And if it doesn't beep, we have to dig more out. And if we went too far, just put some back. That's it. Thanks for watching. Keep following this project. We'll share a lot of construction tips, big project tips, and uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. We love to answer your questions. We check them every day.